Hello again everyone, and today I'll be examining a new lens from a new manufacturer, the IRIX 15mm f2.4. It's a lens designed for full frame or APS-C digital SLR cameras or mirrorless cameras if you get an adapter. It's available in two models, the Firefly model, which cost £400 or US dollars and is mostly made of plastic, and the more expensive Blackstone model, being made of metal and costing £550 or US dollars. Quite a reasonable price for this kind of full frame lens, really. I'll be testing out the Blackstone model here, and as you've seen, it comes in some of the nicest packaging I've ever come across. Both lenses have the same optics though, and are designed in Switzerland and built in South Korea. All the best stuff comes from Korea these days. 15mm on a full frame camera is squarely in ultra wide angle territory, giving you a very wide angle of view with dramatically stretched corners. On APS-C cameras, it's just a very wide angle. And for an ultra wide angle lens, f2.4 is a very fast maximum aperture about 40% faster than the normal f2.8 aperture of competing lenses. That means that this lens can let in quite a lot of light for shooting indoors and getting slightly out of focus backgrounds if that's what you want, or for shooting in the darkness, very handy for astrophotography. A 15mm f2.4 lens is potentially both useful and fun. So let's see about build quality. The Blackstone model of the lens you see here is quite big and heavy, being made of metal, and it has a somewhat unusual shape. The front of the lens tapers out, so that you can fit conventional 95mm filters to the front. Handy. On the rear of the lens you can see a metal lens mount with a gap for gel filters. There are electronic contacts for aperture control by the camera, EXIF information, and focus confirmation through the viewfinder. There's also a weather sealing gasket. In fact, Irex boasts that the lens is very well weather sealed from rain and moisture, something I was unwilling to test with my sample copy. On your camera, the lens's maximum aperture will show as being f2.5 rather than f2.4, but that's just the way Canon's cameras are programmed. The main control on the lens is the manual focus ring. This lens does not have autofocus, but at such wide angles, it's hardly a problem. Manual focusing is very easy, especially when you're using live view mode on your camera. The manual focus ring turns a little heavily, but very smoothly and precisely. At the point of infinity, the focus ring gives you a very slight click to help you to focus correctly in the dark, a very nice idea. Above the focus ring, there's another ring which allows you to tighten the focus ring. The idea is if you're doing street or nighttime photography, you can lock the focus down so that it doesn't get changed accidentally. Another really nice idea. Although IMEX do warn you that if you tighten the focus ring and then try and force it around, it can cause damage to the mechanism. The only thing I don't like about the lens's build quality is the lens cap. The grip where you release it is tapered, which looks quite cool, but it made the lens cap a bit slippery when you're putting it on and taking it off, which made me nervous about damaging the front glass element. As well as all the very nice packaging, the lens comes with a hood with a closable space at the bottom for adjusting any filters you might be using. So overall, the build quality of the Blackstone version of this IREX lens is extremely promising. It's well built, weather sealed, it comes with nice accessories, and it's full of handy features which make the lens easy to use. So then, image quality. This lens is quite reasonably priced, so let's see what IREX have been able to do. On my 20 megapixel full frame camera at f2.4, the lens is bitingly sharp in the middle of the image with quite good contrast. If we look into the corners, we can see that they're quite dark at this wide aperture, but they are fairly sharp too, with no visible chromatic aberration. Very nice indeed. Stop down to f4 for a good deal more brightness and sharpness, and at f5.6, the corners are pretty much perfect. They stay this sharp even down to f16, when diffraction is about to start kicking in. So on a full frame camera, aside from that vignetting, the image quality is all you could really ask for. 
it's very sharp. So let's see how the lens works on an APS-C camera now, my 24 megapixel Canon EOS M3. At f2.4, the lens is fairly sharp in the middle of the image, and in the corners, resolution is ok. f4 is sharper there, and excellent now back in the middle, and the lens is razor sharp at f5.6 from the middle, and very good back in the corners. If you stop down the aperture any more from here, your images will very slowly get softer, due to the effects of diffraction. So, on a high resolution APS-C camera, the lens isn't quite perfect, but it's still providing very satisfactory images. Most people will be mounting this lens on a full frame camera, anyway. Let's take a look then at vignetting and distortion on a full frame camera. As you can see, the IREX lens projects a little barrel distortion, but actually it's a bit less than average. However, the level of vignetting at f2.4 is quite a weakness, it'll be quite noticeable in your pictures. Stop down to f4 for more brightness in those corners, and at f5.6 the vignetting is more or less gone. So you'll probably want to correct for vignetting when you're editing your shots. Let's see about close up image quality then. The lens can focus as closely as about 24cm, and picture quality at that close distance remains very sharp, even at f2.4, as you can see. Now ultra wide angle lenses tend to pick up bright lights in your pictures, so how well does the IREX lens handle flaring? It's a pretty average performance, we're seeing flaring and a loss of contrast, I've seen better, I've seen worse. If I have time, I sometimes like to test out coma levels on wide angle lenses. As you can see here, unfortunately I got my nighttime shot very slightly out of focus. The bright points of light you can see are looking a bit stretched, unsurprisingly at this wide angle, but there isn't much in the way of perpendicular coma, so it's quite a good performance here for nighttime photography. Finally, bokeh. With this lens's maximum aperture of f2.4, it's just about possible to get out of focus backgrounds, if you really want, and on the whole, those out of focus backgrounds are quite neatly rendered, without looking distracting in any way. That's good to see on such a wide angle lens. On the whole, considering that IREX are brand new on the market, they managed to put out a very accomplished piece of kit here. It's reasonably priced, and the Blackstone version of the lens has solid build quality and handy features. It's a nice, sharp lens which gives you punchy images without too much distortion. The only real issues are that it tends to pick up some flaring, and there's some quite serious vignetting at wide apertures. Apart from that though, the IREX 15mm f2.4 is quite a classy, professional piece of kit for full frame camera users at an affordable price, so of course, it comes recommended.